you how you can take either your Google form or your Microsoft form, it doesn't matter which your school uses, and either link or embed it directly into your Canvas page. So I've made some sample ones, daily check-in forms, but you could use these for quizzes, you could use it for practice, any really an assignment, anything you find useful, but I'm just demoing it with the daily check-in forms. It's really nice, both uh, Google Forms and Microsoft Forms have the same functionality. Once you've created it, you can share it the same way. So first option is if you want to hyperlink or put a link directly in. This is my home page for my creative writing class. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to pull it down just so I can see again. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on daily check-ins. Now before I do anything, I do need the form in question. I'm going to demo it with the Google form, but then I will show you it's the same way for the Microsoft form. We click send. We're going to choose this one that shows it looks like a paper clip and it gives you a link. This link is really nice. Uh, you can choose to shorten it or not because if you end up doing a live session through Zoom, Google, uh, Microsoft Teams, any of those, you can then share this in the chat there as well. And it's another way for your students to fill out a daily check in form. But once I have the link copied, I'm going to come in back here, make sure I have the button in question that I want to hyperlink it to, and I'm going to come up to here where it says links. I'm going to click that, and I'm choosing an external link because it is something outside of Canvas. I upload or copy and paste that in, and now it does that little yellow thing, and then it disappears. Got to make sure we save. And once it's saved, your students, when they go to it, they click on it and it will take them to the Google form. So as I said, Microsoft has the same option. Their button says share. You make sure that you are copying that same link. Another option is if you want to embed the form actually in your class. Let's say you don't want to worry about kids remembering to go back to the form, go back to their Canvas, go back to the previous tab. We can actually put it directly in an assignment, a page, a any sort of thing you can come up with canvas in this example i've got my agenda and i just want students to as they're reading this down to do step one daily check-in form so for embedding if we come in here to edit the form will appear directly in the screen so this time i'm going to use the microsoft form once again it works for both of them instead of the link we're going to come over to this one that says embed and we're going to copy and paste that in. How we copy and paste it in, make sure you have where you want the form to go. So I want it after the step one here. We're going to come up here to where it says media, record and upload media. You choose the option that says upload and record media. Then we switch over to the embed code. We're going to paste that in and it is embedded right in there. So when students go to fill this out, so if I save this, when students go to this assignment, they can start typing directly in their form and they have the option to submit it at the bottom. Can you tell that I'm a Microsoft school? Uh, it's right in there, they never have to leave the site. So once again, for Microsoft, all you do is you go to in share and then embed same thing in Google you go to send and you switch over to the embed which is the two arrows and you can even set in Google what size you want um, I just leave it with the default mostly but same thing you just copy and you embed it in and that's what it would look like for your students don't have to go to a new website or anything hope it helps